Hey there, how's it going everybody? I'm Louis the Average Guy 1983. It's nice to be back on the road, man. Got my Inmotion RS today. Today we're going on the Chevy Chase downhill ride. And then gonna be going to uh, Glendale Brewery to have some lunch and then heading back home. So I wanted to uh, basically just show you guys the rides that are here so far. We're gonna be leaving in about 10 minutes. So here's one of the rides. This guy, unfortunately, he's not coming with us, but uh, he just wanted to stop by and visit real quick. Here's my buddy Arts. And then let's go over to uh, our group leader JP's ride today. With this hub motor up in the back. And then the last ride we have here is the Indian mini bike. And then all the safety gear that's here. So, all right, let's get ready. Uh, stay to the right. There are no rules. <laughs> be respectful. Please do not pass me. And then that should be it. I'll give all you guys right. another spiel once we get to the park before the downhill. Because um, it's downhill, man. This is this is quite the downhill. So, um, but for now, you know, like I just said, be respectful. Stay to the right. Don't pass me. It should be all right. So go ahead, gear up. We get, get going. Alright, sounds good. One. We could always check. It's got some crazy All right, cool. So we're going to gear up. Uh, for this, since we're going down here, I'm going to be, uh, be putting on the uh, braking force at 50%. I have it off right now, but I'm going to turn it back on for this purpose. So we'll see how it does. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for us to take off. There is one, two, three, four, five, five riders today. So let's go ahead and uh, have a good time and see how this Chevy Chase downhill works out. And we have a Tevron Fighter Supreme right there. Looks freaking awesome, man. Oh yeah, let me take a screenshot for you guys real quick so you guys can see where we're at right now. We have 82% uh, battery life right now. And uh, I was at about um, 84 when I got here. And this is with the region breaking off at the moment. So we got uh, 7 miles in on my right from my house to the meetup spot and to the spot that we're currently in right now that you guys can see here. So um, yeah, it's not bad. Drive board is at... 91%. The drive board is uh. We gotta wake up, man. Forgot about Jesse. He's coming with the. Oh, okay. All right, right on. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's 
So because of the downhill area where we're going to and the sharp turns we're going to be making, I did turn up my steering damper screw. Um, I didn't max it out, but I definitely uh, turned it up a good amount to make sure that we don't uh, fall, or not we, me. <laughs> I don't need to fall again, man. This is literally like the third time I have like a scooter fall accident. First one was on the Max G2, and that was without safety gear, and I told you guys about the importance of wearing safety gear. Uh, second time I had safety gear on, but I just uh, fell sideways on the Inmotion RS because I did a sharp turn at about 17 miles an hour and I fell off, but nothing major happened. But then the third one was the one that you guys just recently seen with the lady that cut me off on the bike lane. So now apparently we're not safe on the bike lane either. So tough uh, luck on that lady though because I have everything on a dash cam. So if she thought that uh, we were not going to be able to catch up to her, she's dead wrong. I wish I could talk to you guys about that but I can't. But yeah, let's try to enjoy the ride for what it is. And uh, we'll see how this goes. This is my first time going on this uh, Chevy Chase downhill ride. So I hope uh, the experience is good. All right, guys. Nice trail. Hmm, sounds like my caliper needs to be adjusted again on the front tire because uh, when I make a, a slight move to the right, I can hear it scraping. It's very light though. It's not going to affect its performance, it's just going to be more annoying to uh, to deal with. Uh, right now we have 77% and 9.4 miles in, but that's just from basically my house uh, to the meetup spot and to where, well, literally right here. We're good though.
I don't like doing turns <laughs> at uh, medium velocity speeds, man. <laughs> These tires aren't that great for that. Do Adobe or Adobe? It is, man. All right, let's take a quick break. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we have made a quick stop at the Verdugo Adobe location. So I'm going to show you guys the scooters that are here. This is the Teveron Fighter Supreme 7260R and Motion RS. The Indian mini bike, and they got a couple of buddies there really with their bikes here. Before I even get all the pumps in there, like the pump is in So there says uh, Catalina Verdugo Adobe, built about 1828. That's amazing, man. It's a beautiful scenery. You can see all of this here. Yeah, so nobody makes noise yeah, with it. <laughs> okay, it says historic neighborhood bell used for signaling. Here's the bell. This is type, man. Underneath, it's locked up. That's why you can't move it. And then you have a trail that goes up even higher. This is cool. Well, let's enjoy the break and then we'll get back on the road. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start taking off, so it's time to roll out.
<laughs> a cool little trail. All right, rest stop number two. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Montrose Park, and we're taking a quick break. This is the last break we're gonna take before we go down the uh, Chevy Chase Hill. And we have two additional riders joining us. This is very nice, man. Nice scenic route. So from here, it's going to be straight to the fun part. All right, guys, going to enjoy the rest of the break and then we'll gear up and get going. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we're now ready to roll out. Now we're going to start heading towards the fun part. So let's see how everything goes. I'm in gear two. I plan on staying in gear two. So we'll see how all of this works out. So apparently we are supposed to go a little bit more uphill than downhill. I'm currently at 71% uh, battery life. And I do have my uh, regen braking or electronic braking set at 50% right now for that downhill. Here we go. So hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying this for the most part. I do apologize for not making much content. I noticed I lost some subscribers. It was probably due to that. <laughs> so I'm sorry, man. But it took me like almost a whole week that I couldn't move my uh, right arm from the accident. And I had a lot of bruising. I had to do... Uh, uh, chiropractic therapy and stuff similar to physical therapy just to get my arm on the right side at 50% and I apparently have to go for a total of three months in order to get this arm back to normal but at least I'm able to ride so that's really cool I like this and I'm back so hopefully uh, you'll be able to see more rides moving forward
Hmm, some road debris here, like rocks. Gotta be careful with that. Oh, I know where we're at now. We're by this console gardens. Oh, wow. Never thought I'd make it all the way over here on a electric scooter. <laughs> about 20 miles an hour from what it says on the display give or take All right, seems like we're going to be using brake only. It is a windy road, so our group leader did say to drive at your own pace. You know how your own scooter works. So make sure that we don't have any kind of accidents or falls. I definitely don't want to experience a fourth one. <laughs>
Remember, when you make your turns like this, guys, you're making a left turn, uh, tilt your scooter a little bit towards the left, and lean your body towards the right. When you're making the slightly sharp right turn, do the same but opposite, meaning lean your scooter towards the right, but your body towards the left. And that'll help you stay stable for the most part. That also depends on the kind of tires you have on your scooters. For example, I have the self-healing tires. These are not that great for turning, at least not sharp turns. Gotta catch up to these guys. Here we go, caught up. I also do have my uh, PSI on my tires set to 50 for this group ride because I knew that this ride was going to be a little bit on the long side and I wanted to make sure that I get the most range out of this scooter and what usually helps you get the most range besides a bigger battery is having a decent air pressure on your uh, tires. It does make the ride feel a little bit more bumpier because the tires are more solid with the air, but you get more range versus a more smoother ride. For the most part though, I've been keeping this thing around 40 to 45 PSI for a smoother ride when I don't have to you know, go on group rides and I just do my own thing. This is a nice little scenic route. So this is Chevy Chase and we're basically going downhill at our own speed feels comfortable even the speed limit here says do not go more than 20 and I can see why but this is a nice relaxing ride for me at least so again guys if you guys are in the area and would like to do a group ride or join us on a group ride your scooter has at least a 30 amp hour battery at the minimum and um, you can get at least 30 miles of range going about 20 to 25 miles an hour consider joining us man it'll be fun to have you here at Glendale PV I can start catching up to everybody. Oh, that was close <laughs> like a pebble just hit my helmet and because I had the uh, lens down from the uh, sun visor it actually protected my face from getting smacked in the face the little pebble thing man full face helmets 
with the lens guard or wind guard sure are definitely useful. All right, so far we're 19 miles in on this ride total with uh, me leaving my house up to this point and we got 61% battery life. Mm -hmm. That's a nice car. I think I will be going to the brewery after all. Cool, getting hungry? Yeah. So am I. I'm like, my stomach hurts. Yeah. It's just hunger. Do we go from here or do we meet up at the We're spot? Go to Olive okay, cool. And then go from there? From there we'll go. All right, sounds good. I'll join you. Sweet, we get to go eat. Nice. That's one of the things I enjoy about Glendale PV, man. <laughs> we need to do that with Alley PV, but Alley PV is such a giant group, man, of 50 plus members that we will probably be a disturbance, man, to a lot of people trying to, like, find somewhere to park our PVs and then also lock them as well. So, yeah, it'd be nice, though. I've been enjoying going to both, man. Both Alley PV and Glendale PV have their their awesome riding events and really nice locations for you to go to. The only place I'm skeptical of going to is always the um, uh, what is that place called? Uh, Santa Monica Pier. <laughs> there you go. Santa Monica Pier is the only place I don't want to go to because I got a ticket there already. And the time that we start and the time that we end just doesn't work for me when it comes to uh, like the days because I, I work so the night shift. So I'm definitely looking forward to grabbing a bite to eat. I've seen they have burgers and fries and that's exactly what I'm going to go for with like a soda. I don't drink alcohol so um, I don't have to worry about you know beer or anything like that so I'm good
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be concluding the ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we are going to go out to eat somewhere, but most of these guys are actually going to go home. Um, my battery on my Ace Pro actually died, <laughs> so I'm going to swap out the battery. But um, yeah, I'll give you guys the information on the screen so you guys can see everything. And you guys can see the whole uh, route for the trip. But this is everyone here that showed up so far, which was pretty cool. And uh, again, if you guys are interested in getting an Emotion RS Midnight, consider getting it from boromotors.com using my discount code TAG193MIDNIGHT to get $200 off on the Emotion RS Midnight. It's still an amazing machine, and uh, I still recommend it for experienced riders and those who don't mind working on the uh, RS in general in case something goes wrong. But like all scooters, like I mentioned before, no scooter is perfect, and you know, it will come to a point where you may have to repair a scooter sooner or later, similar to that of a car. So any questions you guys have about the RS or this group ride in general with Glendo PEV, please feel free to ask away in the comments below. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next exciting video. Bye for now. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who decided to stay behind, thank you very much. We're heading out to the Glendale Brewery, and uh, this is my first time going over there, so we're going to see what it's like to experience that and have a, a burger and some fries and a drink. So, definitely looking forward. There's only three of us. It's just our group leader, uh, JPL, and then uh, my buddy Art on his uh, e-bike. So, we're going to be... Um, going out over there and see where we can actually park these uh, e-bikes and scooters. And I still got 59%, so we're good on the battery life. Oh, cool. Watch out for that little pothole.
Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that wasn't a good thing. Yeah, I know. Straight up pedal. party supplies. Nice, we made it. And we have a nice dedicated bike rack. Buttes. Very buttes. Hell yeah. All right, so here's how we would do this. Number one, go ahead and um, put it in here, and uh, we should be good. All right, guys. All right, it's food break. Got everything on here. Looking forward to your guys' videos. Yep. All right, let's take a break and eat. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, break time here at the Glendale Brewery is over. Time to head back home. Are you ready? All right, see you later, man. Go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so our break time is officially over. Had a good brunch, and uh, now it's time to head back home. I'll give you guys a total range of everything from my starting point from my house all the way to the uh, group ride event, and then down to the uh, Glendale Brewery where we were at to have some uh, brunch, and then obviously back home so you guys can see the whole map. And how long it actually took to get back but uh, overall it was very fun uh, I thought it was a, a great ride the RS did pretty good turns out that little scrapey sound that I was hearing on the brake pad it's actually not even the brake pad it's the little metal clip that holds the brake pad in place that was uh, touching the rotor a little bit so I have to like take the brake pads out adjust that little clip again and then um, reinstall it and hopefully that stops that noise because it only happens when um, I make a like a it technically only happens when I lean the scooter to the left or to the right you hear a little noise but when it's straight like right now and I use the brakes nothing happens so it's definitely that metal clip that I was able to spot but all right guys I'll let you guys go all right, man. See you later, dude. Yeah. Dude.